Would it even be possible to construct a water canal from Canada to Southern California? Technically, yes, but practically, no. But let's say you had unlimited resources and wanted to actually build this thing. Here's what the route might look like. Flowing out of Canada, the Columbia River crosses the state of Washington before the water is pulled out at Umatilla, where there is already an easy low spot in the riverbank and a place to build a pumping station behind McNary Dam. But this is the first and only time I'm going to use the word easy to describe the engineering. From there, it's pumped through hundreds of miles of pipes all the way across the state of Oregon. But don't get too excited. That journey across Oregon is going to be brutal. Starting Umatilla at 350 feet above sea level, you're going to quickly gain altitude as you have to cross the high desert of Eastern Oregon with a route that quickly jumps into thousands of feet above sea level. This part of the canal would eventually end in Siskiyou or Modoc County, California, where it would flow by gravity into the tributaries of the Pitt River, eventually joining the Sacramento and going all the way to the San Joaquin Delta, where the water is pumped into existing canals as part of the state water project all the way to Southern California. So why is this such a bad idea? Practically every long distance water conveyance system operates almost entirely by gravity. Sure, there might be pumping stations and various lifts to, to get the water uphill for a short distance, but the vast majority runs downhill. Think of it like a roller coaster, sort of mechanical lift to take your car up to the very top. And after that, the coaster moves entirely under its own inertia and gravity. It really doesn't matter how much surplus water is available in Canada. The energy required to move it uphill 400 miles across the state of Oregon makes this impractical. You're going to spend far more energy to move the water than the water's equivalent value downstream. Pulling water from California local sources, or even better, desalinating seawater, would be far more cost-effective than getting the water from Canada. 